and we're back. What a perfect picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Happiness is getting up in the morning, going pee, We're not. and then going back to bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love that. Absolutely. And welcome back. To continue our conversation on memory, this is vital for you eyes to understand, for all of you have telepathically given yourself the memory of this moment and now. Do you see kind of a glimpse of what you would call possibilities? That you are just creating the memory of this actually occurring for you guys are you in pardon me in your own reality right now no other reality exists except for you creating your own there is no outside unless you perceive the outside giving yourself the memory there was an outside it is all conscience it is all imagination if you choose to look into your mind and blank it out, there's nothing there, then there's nothing there. Realize you can do that the same here, if you choose. You may turn your walls pink. You may change your chandelier. You have the power of instant manifestation. For the key to this is the synapsis di distance. Your electrical energies of reality that are changed into your senses of reality are delayed, hence time. Focus on making them one, where there is no jump from one synapsis to another. When you bring those closer, time becomes shorter. In other words, the distance between your probable realities of your fiction turning to fact become closer. Let's say more to the now. For right now, all of your memories are in time as well. There is a point that until you accept fully what you are, you cannot perceive all of your current lives in one moment. And I do mean all of them. Not just your current incarnation, nor your past or future human incarnations, but all of yourselves. Your Pleiadians, your Hathors, your Arcturians. Thank you. I do not know them. So all of these are now. The shorter you are in your synapses distance that you can physically change, physically change, will bring you more now. Where is reality? Now. The experience has now become a memory. Every word, every input, every moment is automatically transferred into a memory. That memory is your experience. But the fact is that is only a memory that you have given yourself for fluidity, for comprehension, for understanding the paradigm of 3D. Take these, what you call facts, <clears throat> and disassemble them into the new fact of your choosing. 
the more validity you get to a fact, the longer it stabilizes. But each one of you know, through your memory that you gave yourself from this now, that all of your beliefs have changed over time. Those are the future yous that you were calling upon, giving you those abilities to change in that now. So that now is now this now with the new remembrance of how you got from there to here. Change your past memory, change your now. Don't be afraid you will not lose your identification. You can do it in many ways. You can completely forget. That would be Roxanne's and Wink's experience of this interaction that was supposed to take place at 10 o'clock and both of them, quote, forgot. No. What they did is gave themselves a new memory so they can understand that point of giving themselves a new memory to create a different reality whenever they choose. Do you see? Do you understand? So giving yourself a new reality of one that fits is a possibility. Also, you can give yourself what we have come to term in your terms, the miracle. I don't remember doing that. However, it's that. That's a fact. How did I do that? When did I do that? You gave yourself the memory of forgetfulness so you can experience the miracle. What does that do? emphasizes, strengthens, encompasses your beliefs in yourself, your beliefs in your fiction to fact, your imagination. Roxy, unknowing to her, has given herself wonderful little miracles of that nature. I know I never did that, or her words. Yet, the reality of that is that she did do that. But she gives no remembrance of that. Giving herself, ah, I can create my own memory, how I choose from the now. That's how free flow you are. And fear nothing. You're not going to mess anything up because it's your choice on how you choose your reality. And you only choose it through love, because that's what you are. The vibrational state of C plus. Octopire, thank you. That is your natural tone. That vibrates through all eternity. Sharing, giving, freely, for that's all there is, eternal love. There is another point from which you can understand this perspective. In the past you all dreamed of a state of awareness Are you not aware now? <clears throat> so what you were you looking at? Hmm? The one you are now. From that now, which is all now. So once again, look at the you that you are as ascended. For the idea is for you to be ascended so you can pass on the ascension. Having the equatable words in your paradigm to give those people the understanding that they are the creator, they can choose their reality any way they want to, and it's only limited to the current beliefs that they were raised with, that they accepted, that they made whole for themselves in order to survive, or be accepted, or be loved. <clears throat> you want to be loved? Imagine yourself as being loved. It's as simple as that. How fast it comes is how much you believe. The faster it comes is how close you get your synapses for your jump of your electrical inputs and outputs to that reality you are experiencing to happen now. 
This is monumental information for you, for you've all dreamed of it, and now you are getting the symbolism in the words to understand that. Congratulations. You believed it. For if you did not believe it, you would not be here. And these words would not be spoken. Because this is the, cre <coughs> pardon me, the created reality you wish to have experienced. So is there a dissension between reality and what you choose to be that you will lose your identification? You will no longer remember. You have to give up this you. Realize this is always you. It always has been here. It always will be here. You never lose your identification. Although your soul usually has in this incarnation about 200, pardon me, 2,227.3333 infinity lives. Right now, from your oversoul in all kinds of lifetimes, centuries, all now. The Egyptians that you all are, the Hathors that you all are, maybe not direct lineage of that, but interaction with those. Details are not important on your current incarnations, for you already know them. All you have to do is choose to know them, and you will. Why? Because that's the reality you're giving yourself since you are the Creator. So your older soul created you, when, now, which means you've always existed, because everything is now. You may choose when you are ready, and you will know it, to become an oversoul yourself, to experience thousands of lives at the same time with full knowledge and understanding of each of those lives always. And those lives will go on and on and on forever. Because it's creativity and there's no running out of room because it is only conscience. And your conscious is endless. Why? Because you told yourself your conscious is endless. Why did you tell yourself that? Because it's a fact. Ah. This is all mind-bending. It feels like mud. You're slopping around in it. Pulling yourself up, sinking down. Pulling yourself up, sinking down. How exciting. For the information you are getting is going to open up endless amount of doors for you to give you the confidence, which is first needed, in the new fictional to fact belief. And then that representation of that in your reality turns it into a knowing. That knowing is now your reality. Ah, wow, look what I created. Realize, all of your thoughts, if you would think about it, are the Creator's thoughts. Hmm. So why would any of your thoughts be judged if they are the Creator's thoughts? You hold the Creator in great gestalt as an essence of purity, as an essence of worship, of Godlike, that the Creator could do no wrong. So if you have those thoughts and you are judging those thoughts based on your beliefs, who are you judging? The purest form of love? Hmm. Doesn't make sense. Except that you are the creator and know that your thoughts are part of creativity. Accept them. Delve into them. Embellish them. Play them out. For all of that is the lessons for you to overcome in a way of understanding, validation, acceptance, knowing, creativity. You are all awake. 
you are all ascended masters. And use the word that, ascended masters. You have mastered the ascension. How awesome. That's the life that you will give yourself now, that's in the future, of remembrance, so you create it. It's as simple as that. Do not overcomplicate things. Do not live in the paradigm of process, goal setting, so you can see your progress. How about know your progress and let it go? and continue to know, and know, and know, and know, and know. You don't need checkpoints along the way, so you can share those for validation of yourself. Just know you are that, and your validation of that comes through your actions, not your imparting for self-identification and justification of your new ideas. Your actions that you give yourself in that moment create the idea of validity and you get it magically. You didn't even ask for it. It was a surprise. All of you love the genie in the bottle. There's discussion. Hmm. We will end this interaction at this time. After tonight's event, for time is in your paradigm up. The interaction again tonight will be that of fun playfulness. Rita Please bring forth your idea of the UFO excursion out to the fields to look up and ask for the UFO to land and say hello. Let's see, probabilities. Two Zetas escorted by four Greys. They are good friends. The ship will be round. It will have a square opening coming down, of course, with light. Everything is light. But it will be that of your paradigm. In other words, the elements will exist. It will not just be a light show, which is the fourth density impinging on the third density to show you that reality, that that is real. The people that are present, your idea, once again, of clearing the fear of that moment, the people that are present will be cleared, fear not, for that is the reality you've already created. You will know who needs that in the moment. And the ones that don't accept that fear clear will not show up. For that is your belief in the validity that you believe that you want this to happen, so guess what? You create that. As well as many other that are ready to receive that you have to be on a field, there will be some rocks, some trees, kind of low, open night sky, lots of stars out. The moon is, hmm, crescent. To the west, so it will be 10 p.m. of your time in that area. Pardon me. East. The moon. Orientation in space has been odd for me. Once again, pardon me. So, you have that. Play that out. That is a wonderful reality of acceptance of self. To see something that is miraculous. What does that do? Builds the foundation of belief. Does it not? For your work in this field has been dynamic. Yet you do not see the results of them. Why? Because they've always been there, but you're passing over them as, oh, hmm. 
back to reality. Let it go. Accept gracefully what you've given yourself. For the ones giving it to you need that giving to give themselves the feeling of giving. Every time you reject gratitude, you reject that person and the idea of giving. Stopping their love of giving their love. Accept gracefully everything that you receive. Yes, I know. Do I deserve it? That's in play. Hmm. Let me say, yes. Hmm. So, again, the interaction tonight. Make sure you get up and speak and announce that. Give yourself the validity of that. Because that's what you've created as reality. No reason to let it go. Because it is valid, it is helping, it is ascending itself, the idea. And there will be many avenues for, let's say, here it comes. Roxy said this at one time, you are a jack of all trades. But the term can be changed from master of none to master ascender. Hmm. Accept that, because it is you. Oh, this is fine. I don't want to leave. But we must go. We shall return. So again, tonight's interaction will be that of fun. There will be a couple of ideas we're going to give for telepathy. And uh, there's a game that we will do as well. It should be fun. Of course it will be fun. Why? Because we created it. Hmm, imagine that. Okay, guys, stop it. We have others that want to play in the reindeer game, so to speak. One last thing. <clears throat> this entity is an open channel. What we mean by that is it is an open channel. Whatever ship chooses to pass through it may, of course, with the acceptance of Roxy saying yes or no, it is her choice, and realize there are thousands waiting to come through. Abraham Lincoln would like to say something, and he will come and say that. Not now, though. Yes, the Abraham Lincoln. He was an entity of Earth, not an ascended master. Like your John Adams, Ben Franklin, Tesla, Casey, Nostradamus. They all knew what they were. <clears throat> so, this is all I have, but I do have about that much time for any quick questions. If you want to consider them quick, it's your choice. So our challenge is to overcome.